hope you enjoyed the pad thai. What I'm going to show you how to make today is a variation on something I grew up with, the Philly cheesesteak. In this case, we're going to use pork. I've got a nice little pork tenderloin here. And in fact, later on, what we're going to do with the rest of the pork tenderloin is I'm actually uh, going to roast it for you and show you how to do that top thai style. But right now, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thin strips off of it with Mr. Fork and Mr. Knife. And if you've got a spiral slicer, you can cut it even thinner. But what I'm going to show you how to do is if you can't get it quite paper thin, I'll show you how to take care of this so that it's going to be just wonderful. And we're going to be making a, a little bit of a marinade with it. Let me take one more slice off this bad boy. And we're going to take, I'll show you how to make a marinade using these things over here. All right, so let me put this out of the way, bud. And then what I'm gonna do is wipe off the counters. I don't make a total mess of the kitchen. Not that style points count that much on Man Cave Munchie. And I'm gonna take a little bit of wax paper. Okay. And then what I'll do is I'll put my work in the wax paper. I'm gonna Move it over a little bit, fold it over. Again, the trick is to keep stuff from splattering from here to Thailand, right? And then we're just going to use our little mallet here and tenderize them a bit. Flip it over. Good therapy too. All right, those are done. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get my measuring spoon. All right, I'm going to put a little bit. This again, this is Thai soy sauce, but it, you know, in a pinch, regular soy sauce will work. I'm going to put about a teaspoon of that in there. I'm going to put a little tablespoon of our vinegar, and then this is Chinese. This is Chinese five spice. If you don't have it, you can do without it, but it just gives it a little bit of unique flavor. I'm going to give it a couple little dashes or two of that. I'm just going to take a spoon and mix it around a bit. I'm going to break out a dish big enough to put all the meat in. And I'm just going to lay these in the bottom of the bowl. Nice and simple. And then I'm going to pour a little bit of my marinade on top because the trick is you want you want this puppy to marinate and I'm just going to dip it on both sides. You want this to marinate for an hour or so. So that's why I'm doing this now and then I'll come back a little later on and show you what to do next. Right, put another layer in there, a little bit more meat. Discard the paper. Finish up with the marinade. And then, like I said, just turn it over a couple of times to make sure that you get it good and coated. And then I'm just going to cover that up with a little bit of plastic wrap and pop it in the fridge for at least an hour. I'll probably leave it for about two hours, and then I'll show you what to do next. So stand by. Well, here's everything you need to finish off our uh, pounded pork sandwich. Well, almost everything. What I like to do is I like to put a little bit of onion. I like to grill up a little bit of chopped mushrooms. I also like to put in some nice tangy banana peppers. And then last but not least, we'll garnish it with some sprouts for, for some texture. So let's swing on over to the stove and get started. Okay, what I like to begin with, a little bit of oil in the pan. And what we'll do is we'll start off by uh, cooking up our veggies. Get our shrooms and our onion saute in there. And I'll throw a few of the peppers in there once we get them going a little bit.
And these are actually the sweet variety. If you like it more potent, you can use hot. But remember, at the end, I'm going to show you how to use this little devil here, which is a uh, Thai sweet chili sauce, which actually is a little bit hot. I'm going to make a little bit of room in the middle here. I'm going to start putting some of our pounded pork in the pan. Go. Let everything cook together. Put a little bit of the sauce on top. I'll let it cook about a, you know, a minute or so per side. Again, you want to grill, you want to grill it, not kill it. Just pound it nice and thin. You want it to be tender. You don't want it to turn out to be chew leather. Usually what I like to do once I get it starting to cook here is I'm just going to shut it up and leave it to smaller pieces. I'm almost there. But again, it's pork, it's not beef, so you really need to cook it kind of fairly well done. But like I said, you don't want to kill it. It's already falling apart because remember, we've had this thing tenderizing for a couple hours. It doesn't take much to it up. And there you have it. I'll show you how to build a sandwich. Take a little bit of the meat mixture with the veggies. Make sure you get some of the shrooms. There we go. That'll work. And then we go back over to the table. Like so. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to top this off with some of our nice fresh sprouts.
And then last but not least, I'm going to drizzle a little bit of sauce on top. with a side of slaw, which I've also infused with a little bit of the sauce. There you have it. Today's special. Pounded pork Asian style from Man Cave Munchies.